Hi folks, Tim Fasano here. I'm at the Veterans of Foreign War Cemetery in Tampa, Florida. And earlier I saw a lady put a flower on a grave. One of many that are out here from World War I through the Vietnam War. This is a lady who when she was a small child, her mother perhaps had the conversation with her that thousands of women had in which they explained to their children why daddy is never coming home again because their daddy was able to summon up a courage within himself that many of us have never been challenged to reach for. You have to ask yourself, who were these men? Who were these men? Where were they from? How is it they were able to perform their duty in such a noble manner? I'll tell you who these men were and where they came from. They came from the small towns. They came from the cities, they came from the farmlands, they came from the rural areas. They were the product of the freest society that's ever existed on earth. A nation that was founded on liberty and on the concept of individual initiative. An understanding that one could be tempted to believe that the central government could solve your problems, but it was tempered with an understanding that the government could do its people great harm. Hence the concepts of freedom that were so loved and cherished. The world we live in today is changing. People are trading in their liberty for the soup kitchen of the welfare state. It's a dangerous proposition. Tyranny is spreading throughout the world because people are letting it happen. Alexander Hamilton said a man that was willing to live on his knees rather than die standing with a sword in his hand would get a dictator and would deserve one. We're at a moment in time where we need to treat our enemies with extreme prejudice. To paraphrase Ronald Reagan, we are standing at the precipice and we are staring into the abyss. And if we don't take action within our generation, freedom, liberty will be cast to the ash heap of history. The world itself will be plunged into a thousand years of darkness, of which it may never return. Liberty is not a given. It's rarely existed on earth. It has to be protected. These men understood the cost. These men were willing to pay for it. Are we? So while you're having your barbecue this weekend, think about these men and what they did.